Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's a travel day. We are finally hitting the road today. So we've been in our spot we're in right now for the last like three weeks. Um, kids still had school and we had baseball games and all of that stuff. So we've just been in this one spot that I've already showed you guys. But today we leave. The kids are done with school. They had their last day of school on Wednesday and Thursday. We had our last baseball games on Thursday and now time to hit the road so we're leaving today and we're gonna be gone for about a month and then we'll be back to go to um, the motocross nationals at Washougal that we go to every year and then um, a baby shower and stuff like that so we'll be back around this area for a couple of weeks then we'll be gone again for like a month and a half and then we'll be back for a couple of weeks and then we'll be gone like for real for real um, in October so anyways other than that um, I got my hair done on Thursday, was it Thursday? Yeah, Thursday morning, got my hair done, cut five inches off of it. It was really long. Um, and we added a whole bunch of my natural, like all my roots, this is all my natural color, so she just matched it. Um, and put that all throughout and then just like touched up my little blonde pieces here in the front. So it'll be much more manageable while traveling. Um, it was it was pretty blonde, so that's kind of hard to manage um, when your hairdresser isn't available because you are on the other side of the country or whatever. So anyways, um, I am going to put some makeup on and then in the beginning of this vlog, I'm just gonna show you guys everything I do. You said that really fast. I said that really fast. In the beginning of this vlog. <laughs> Sorry. Um, in the beginning of this vlog, I'm going to show you guys everything I do to like pack up the trailer on a travel day. So everything that has to be done inside. And there's quite a bit that has to be done because we have things out on the counters and you know anything that could move in transit has to be secured in some way or like put away in a cabinet. So I'm going to show you guys everything I do before we pull in the slides to get ready to hook up and go. So right now we're going to do makeup and then get to work. So while I get ready, I wanted to take a minute to talk to you guys about Aura. I have told you about them before, but I partner with them again on this video today because I think they're a really great tool for people like me and you, whether you're an influencer or just somebody who shops online or even just uses the internet. I think Aura is great for everyone. Anyone can find personal information about you online, including your address, phone number, and more. This information is available because of data brokers who profit by selling your info to um, robocalls, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else. They will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists, which is so awesome. Um, you guys can use my link. I will have it in the description box um, for you guys to try two weeks free and see how many data brokers are sharing your info. Also, along with everything else I just told you about Aura, they also monitor your emails and passwords if they were involved in a data breach or exposed on the dark web, and they give you recommendations on what to do about that. Aura also features a VPN password manager, real-time credit monitoring and identity theft monitoring, along with parental controls like content filtering that allows you to customize what your kids can see online, as well as focus times that make sure your kids aren't getting too much screen time. Aura will do the hard work to keep you safe online. If you sign up using my link, Aura will give you a free two week trial. You'll be absolutely shocked at how much personal information Aura will uncover in just those two weeks. So just go to aura.com slash Casper to start your free trial. All the info will be in the description box below. Again, thank you to Aura for sponsoring this video. All right, so the kids are gonna start putting their stuff away. So in, I still haven't stained this wood. I need to do yeah, that, huh? That's good. <laughs> So as far as out here goes, um, everything that's on the counters has to be put down somewhere. So the air fryer, the Berkey, um, you know, all of that stuff. I need to put um, the trash can. I have to roll up that rug. I have to move the litter box house thing. I need to put the couch back the kids uh, watched movies last night so they were, had the whole couch open the table so the air fryer the Berkey all that, the, that kind of stuff the vacuum that will all go under the table here and then in the bathroom we have all this stuff that needs to get put away and then the shower actually closes up and has this little latch so that way the shower doors aren't like opening and closing and banging all over uh, while we're driving and then the bedroom 
bathroom sliding door has this that holds this door from sliding. I need to wash up these dishes so then we can use the sink because I use the sink to put stuff in to secure things while we're driving as well. But this slide out comes all the way into here and then this kitchen slide comes all the way into here. You ready for a travel day? Are you ready? Also, it's been in the 70s and 80s for weeks um, and it's overcast in like 50 something this morning so I have my sweatshirt on. Um, it's actually supposed to be pretty chilly for this entire week. Uh, what's today? Saturday. It's supposed to be chilly for like four or five days so it's fine. Um, so he, he's out there banging on something, I don't know. The bike rack maybe because it hasn't been used in like four years so it's probably a little rusty. Um, he makes sure that like Cash's kennel is tied down in the back of the truck and ready to go. Everything's loaded up. The generator's loaded up. That's for when we're boondocking and we don't have hookups. Um, the bikes are loaded on the back. Everything is, all of our outside stuff is packed up. He dumps the tanks, flushes the tanks, um, puts the hoses away, fills up with water if we need water at our next location. If we're not going to have hookups, we are going to have hookups, so we don't need to fill our water reserve. And then me and the kids work on everything on the inside, and I'm kind of already regretting doing my hair, but I actually haven't curled it since I got it done, so I just wanted to see like what it looks like. Um, but I already feel like I'm gonna end up clipping it up. <laughs> so I have my computer charging so I can edit while we are on the road. Uh, I should probably move that though because I need to do the dishes. The kids room is totally done ready to pull this slide in so the kids just put stuff up on their beds um, that it like goes on this little shelf and then this shelf they put things up in these cabinets and on their beds so we just put things back far enough to where they're not gonna like fall down and then you want to make sure the floors are vacuumed really really well because if there's like a rock or you know anything that's like on the floor when the slide comes in it could catch and like tear the floor up so you just want to try to make sure there's nothing under the slide make sure there's nothing on the floor i just take down that top that one top little wooden bin from right there bring it down so that way it doesn't fall over the other one is secured back there and so this slide right here is ready to come in
everything is done in here. Just have to pull the slides in, put my bag in the truck. Donnie's getting cash loaded up. He's kennel right now. He just dumped all the tanks. Um, so all the slides are ready to be pulled in. Everything is secure where it needs to go. We just pushed this table. Um, actually, the two times we moved the trailer before this, we flipped the table upside down. Um, but now that we have this, we just scoot the table all the way up against the benches and then slide that in there. So that's all like compact, you know, with the couch and the benches. And then this carpet comes to like right here. So everything is just like secure and it doesn't move. And then the couch, you know, is heavy enough that it doesn't move. So all good. Just need to pull the slides in. Um, and we need to take down our Starlink. So we have this cable right here that goes into our bedroom. And then this is our Starlink uh, router. And then the dish satellite thing is outside. So this cable just runs out and then under the trailer. And then I'll show you guys. So it goes under and then up to that. So we have to take that down. But you got the bikes all loaded up. Well, four of them. And then Berkeley is, is in the back of the truck. And her scooter. Hi, guys, you boy, you ready to go traveling? You ready to go? This is a good boy. He has a massive kennel and he's got his blankie in there. His favorite is blankie. Oh, yeah, so we have this big uh, water, bowl. water bowl that we use when we're like camped or when we're stopped, you know, parked, um, hooked up and stuff that we fill with water. But then on travel days, we just stick food and water in there, keeps it contained so he can get that if he wants to um what else so the pool bag i will stick in my room um this is donnie's little garage area he's got all organized with everything and then his tools and stuff and then the cat food and dog food containers just sit right inside the door entryway right here on travel days because this slide right here the, the living room slide comes all the way in and like blocks off so um, if we stop and we need to come into the trailer we can get into the bathroom and we can get in to the bedroom so we just put we can use this as like a little you know transportation spot to put some things to so we are just about ready mm -hmm. it's a nice view Ooh, it's dirty. It oh my gosh. Oh, Ooh, there's a spider! Kill it. Ah! Kill it. Ah, there's two of them! My kill, god! Kill them. Hurry. What? Babe, stop. They're killers. There was two of them that made a home inside here. Two what? Inside the <clears throat> Where is it? I killed them. Everybody, Aww. everybody, <laughs> calm down. Don't, nobody panic. I killed them. So we have this app on our phone that controls everything in our trailer. But then you can also run everything on this little command station by the front door. But I like to use this when I'm doing the slides. That way I can be back here like watching. Kids room is all closed up. I keep running into this every time I walk around. Almost forgot, I need to set that little basket somewhere. Cannot ride right there or this will end up on the ground. Okay, now we are ready to pull in the kitchen slide. All right, so the kids already put all their stuff out in the truck that they want for our travel day. I've got my sweatshirt, my backpack that has my water and 
I clipped my headphones on there. Um, got my computer, the rest of my greens. I'm gonna go put all my stuff in the truck and then we'll be able to pull this slide in. So you can see how far that comes in. Like that. And then this one does the same thing. So that's how you're able to drive it down the road, <laughs> you know. I hate all the noises that it makes. It's like these little rubber things on the sides that move. And everything like snap, crackle, pops. <laughs> makes me so nervous. Trailer's all closed up, so you can see how close it gets to the island through the window. <laughs> Everything's all battened down in there, ready to rock and roll. So now I just need to put that stuff right here. Turn off the lights. Turn off the water heater, because we don't need that on while we're traveling. Now Donnie just has to hook up the truck to the hitch. Next up, we need to retract the jacks. So we have these automatic, the automatic leveler thing on here. So to retract, you, um, push the up arrow and then you push enter and that does the auto hitch level so it remembers where your hitch like height was when, when you unhooked huh yeah so when we detached yeah when we unhooked when we got here so it remembers that and it just does its thing and raises this up raises up all the jacks underneath um, and then we're able to hook it up to the truck that's it so jacks are up just got a hook up and then Donnie will do his little trip check do one last walk around to make sure everything's good to go ship shape he said I hope the bikes stay on <laughs> uh, yeah me too me too just got to unhook power it's kind of like the very last thing we undo uh, because the jacks use that power, the slides use that power, everything like that. So you can do it on battery, battery power, but it just goes a little bit slower that way. This man just backs up and lines it up without any help. We want A plus. A plus rated? <laughs> Spider web. Stop. I just can't wait to get on the road again. We're gonna pull into the way station real quick and see what we weigh. I don't know. I think the last couple of times I've been here, it doesn't work when they're not there. Oh. In the scale hats. Oh. So we shall well, see. Well, I guess we'll see. Now we should have the. What was it? Lot didn't we weigh on our way back from yeah, it Sisters? Was, it was right about. 
truck and trailer. Total, yeah. Yeah, total. What's our trailer full without water? Um, Just it down cargo. Like with no water, like 11,000. 11,000? So. Lighter than our toy hauler. The thing's heavy. Making a pit stop in Detroit. Detroit, Oregon. <laughs> Uh, there's like food trucks up here and we stopped here last time we came through um, So we are gonna eat here again for lunch because it is lunch time mm. Why is he happy? Your burgers taste good? So if you guys didn't know this entire town burned down in 2020 um, there's pretty much absolutely nothing left in this town. All the houses, buildings, businesses, everything. So they've been rebuilding for the last three years. If you ever come through Detroit, make sure you stop off at the little corner burger. What's it called? Corner? Hi, buddy. Corner burger? It was good. Second time there. Okay, one of our favorite spots to stop along the way. Back on the road. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere, really. I mean, the only, yeah, if you go to like Bend or Central Oregon and then you drive back to the valley you drive through here, or if you go to Detroit Lake, this is the town of Detroit. But if you're ever here, make sure you eat there. There's like a barbecue food truck too, and like a little store. It's cute. But all these houses that you see along here have all been rebuilt in the last three years because they were completely burned to the foundation. Yeah, you can see the trees are black, but all these homes are new. Yeah. So sad. It's beautiful. So if you guys have been around since like 2019, 2018. Back then, Berkeley was only two. And John Party Night Shift, that song came out and it was on the radio all the time. And it was her favorite song when she was two years old. We get in the truck and she would say, Put on the baby, or the, she'd say, Baby song, baby song. And every time we put on that song, she did this. She'd be back there in her car seat in the middle, just doing this. And so then we would all do it. And I was like, daily vlogging back then and then you guys would tag me on Instagram like at the John Party concert with that song like doing Berkeley's little dance move it was just so cute and we just I turned the camera off and just like mom can you put on that song that goes with this like yeah let's turn on the baby song it's like deja vu from when we traveled last time I love it we made it to Sisters. They're one of our favorite little towns over here. It is so windy. And it is popping down here today. There's a lot of people out. I just got done editing a video. So that is good and productive. Now we got about 40 minutes left. our spot right here tell dad to come on back <laughs> tell him back him up Okay, 
Good news, our bikes. Our bikes are all still here. We're gonna get all set up now. So now that we're here, we just do the opposite of everything we did when we packed up to set up. So I took out the stuff that was right in here. We're gonna get these blocks out to put underneath all of the jacks. And then he's gonna raise the tongue up to unhook it. And then we'll level, well he'll pull the truck out and turn it off. Um, and then we'll level after you level it, then we'll pull the sides out. So the boys put the uh, blocks under these back jacks. And me and Brody are playing. And the kids are playing. Yeah. It's actually warm out. We thought it was going to be, it's only supposed to be a high of 58 tomorrow. So the kids are pumped that it's warm right now because once we get set up, we can go to the pool. <laughs> Yeah, I, I want to make sure they're like right where I want them, but I want to turn the, hook the power up first. Okay, so he's getting the power hooked up. It's actually like really far at the front and way over to the side, which is kind of weird. I mean, every single campground and RV park we go to is different, and it's interesting to see like where everything's at. Um, it's nice when the power is like in the center of the camp site, <laughs> but this one's like way up here. So we could back the trailer up a lot farther, but then our power wouldn't hook up. So that's fine though, it works. So we got our blocks under there and then in here we just hit auto level and it will do its thing. We can watch the side, just when those start coming down and make sure it's... Yep. I've been trying my best for a while Trying to please everyone who's around me I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm gonna get everything situated in here um, I was gonna show you guys like how I do it But literally it's just the opposite of what I did To put everything away I just put everything back where it goes Alright, just like that Everything is back set up where it goes Kids are getting ready for the pool Um there we go. All right, we're at the pool, and then it got real windy and got these black clouds coming. So now everybody's cold, except I didn't. I didn't get in the pool, so I'm not cold. <laughs> but we just. Uh, there's just this little red dirt path that goes back to the trailer park or the RV park. Juniper and sagebrush, sage Central Oregon. 501 short pants. You like you. you like these? Yeah. They're my favorite shorts. <laughs> home sweet home. Do you remember this spot, Berkeley? Holy crap. Oh. Holy smokes. Wow. This video does not do justice. Anyways, I'm gonna make some spaghetti for dinner. Just, you know. Oh, the Berkey is a perfect tripod for the kitchen. Let's get dinner going. I need to get my kettle out. Whenever I boil water, I use my tea kettle because it boils water super quick um, and it doesn't use up propane. Because whenever you try to boil water in a trailer with propane, it takes a long time and um, 
uses a lot of propane. So if you can use electric to get it going and then dump it into the pot onto the stove, it works so much better. So that'll only take a couple minutes. Wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box. Trying to be like the rest when I'm not. I just want to go my own way. Gonna let the past burn down. Cause honestly, don't want to be stuck in more in conversations with you. With you. I'm gonna. dinner got the dishes all done we're gonna go ride bikes up to the playground now um, it is 7 20 so get a little playing in we are finally on the road so we have so much fun stuff coming up so many places to show you guys and you know experience like new places together and sharing that with you I'm just I love filming on travel days and on days when we go and do stuff um, I don't know just happy and happy to be sharing with you guys so thank you so much for being here um it honestly just means so much to me and i know i say that a lot but i just want you guys to feel how much i appreciate you um so i hope i hope that you do when you watch my videos and um anyways thank you guys so much i'm gonna get out there and go ride bikes and hang out with the family but i will see you guys again very soon in my next video probably tomorrow <laughs> bye